Hello everybody! Welcome to a brand new series for the channel. As you can see, I will be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I have been playing this game quite a lot on my own time. But I was enjoying it so much that I thought I would share it with you guys today. I want to thank you all for your patience in my getting a slow start to returning to making content and eventually streaming. I just needed to take some time to myself and have a breather away from making content for a while and I know it's been quite a long time since you guys have seen new stuff from me. Or new content at all, but again, I just wanted to thank you for your patience and hopefully in the future I will be more consistent with my uploads. For those who don't know, I am playing this on Nintendo Switch. And I am using a controller to play this game a bit more comfortably. But since it has been quite a while since I have done this game, I thought we would start brand new. Because I played a little bit of this the other day. And looked at my current save. <laughs> and I had no idea where I was. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity to play this game. So, since some of you may be new to the Zelda series as a whole, I figured it'd be fun to start a new one together. So, without further ado, here we go. Override previous save data. Yes. Now some of this is voice acted, so I will be keeping my mouth shut during the cutscenes. So you guys can hear them clearly. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. There's our boy. I just gotta say, I love the graphics in this game. It's one of the reasons I played it for so long after I bought it. Oh, he's pretty. I don't remember why we're in a giant bathtub, but I have a feeling we're going to figure that out eventually, so this ought to be fun. That's a weird looking thing. Oh yay, there's an autosave feature. I forgot about that. Let's have a look around the room. OK. 
Okay. Let's go investigate this thing, shall we? That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Oh, we were asleep. Okay, so it was a sleeping chamber, not a bathtub. Gotcha. The Sheikah Slate A mysterious tablet with a glowing center You've never seen this device before And yet there's something familiar about it trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short though. Since this is the tutorial section, I think I'll have this episode a bit longer than what I am hoping to eventually edit them to. But for now, we'll keep this a long one. Let's see what this one has. Ah, there's the top, okay. An old shirt. A thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Okay. Let's put on our clothes here before we go outside. This one has anything in it. Nope. Okay. Whee. Open door. Uh, nope. Okay. Oh! Duh. Pull okay. the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way.
She just like confirmed. Whoa. That's trippy. Ooh. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. Getting excited. This is going to be fun. Yay. But that does remind me of one little thing before we get too involved in this. Because knowing me, I will. <laughs> I will probably be doing a lot of the things off screen to save you guys some time but before we officially get started on this new little adventure just a quick little thing I have to put up here don't forget to like comment and subscribe also don't forget to hit that notification bell and make sure you hit all notifications it really does help me out a bunch. And it lets me know what you guys are interested in with the amount of likes you leave. And also, if you feel up to commenting, it's extremely helpful. <laughs> and with that out of the way, let's continue the game. Full disclosure, when I first got this game, I have 140 hours in it on my own time when I first played this. So although this is not my first playthrough of the game entirely, it is my first time streaming it to the channel, so I hope you guys enjoy. I know I will be. All right. Let's do this thing. feel like I'm playing it for the first time. Oh look! There's somebody else here! Yay! We are at the Great Plateau. Before I forget, let me turn down the volume a little so you guys can um, hear me better. And I can show you guys the action screen real quick. Now this is a completely open world game compared to the rest of the Zelda franchise games out there. Oh. There 
is no volume down. Whoopsie. And yes, you see this correctly. There are motion controls in this game. Which is another reason I am using a controller for this. Because I find it a little easier. Now, it's not on right now. Because I find it easier to aim the bow without it. But there will be some puzzles and different points within the game where we'll have to use motion controls anyway. I just wanted to show off the options for you guys. And I do not currently have any of the DLCs, but I do eventually plan to get some. Not only do we have an auto-save option, but we can also do manual saves as well. And I recommend saving in this game very often if you're playing along with me. I most definitely recommend that. Okay. Open world, for those who don't know, means everything you see here. Everything you can immediately go to. We can explore anything and everything out here. And this game is just so beautiful, how could you not want to? Got a tree branch, nice. For now, we'll have to manage our inventory space and various weapons, but. That's one of the things I like about this game. is that pretty much anything you see that can be used as a melee weapon from swords to tree branches as you see here are an option <laughs> Away. No. There you go, Link. Thank you. Ah. Ooh. We're gonna be a sneaky boy. Because I see something I want over there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky boy. Come on. Link. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. a long way especially on foot
let's go talk to this brother we saw down here. He might be able to help us out and explain what's going on. Hello there, mister. Thank goodness he was joking. Apologies if y'all can hear my dog. He tends to bark a lot when there are people nearby. Well, we have street construction going on outside right now, so. Not the most ideal recording conditions, but I wanted to get something out for you guys today. And in order to spare my voice, I will not be reading a lot of these speech bubbles, but I'll read some of them. Oh, you're a tall fellow, aren't you? Oh. I'll go ahead and read this one. The old man says, That temple there, long ago, was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom, a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. <sighs> Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. bad for stealing his food, but he said I could have it. Apples, yay. Nope. Uh, you see that green wheel there? That is our stamina bar. And that means that we can climb or run, depending on what we need to do, for as long as that green circle slash bar holds out. I'm gonna try to grab myself that apple. It might come in handy later. Yeah, that's the jump button. Okay, whoop! Nope. 
Didn't grab it in time. Oh well. Ooh. This had to come in handy. Now we have an X. Oh, I just remembered something I wanted to tell you guys while we're headed over to this temple to investigate. It's gonna take a bit of a shortcut for one. Hello, little friends. No, I'm not Hesu. Who's that? Ah, you're a child of the forest. Okay, I get it. Got a Korok seed, which will come in very handy later. Bar goes down and we swim too. The little purple bar down there in the corner is our noise. And then the one above it is our temperature. And we made it to the temple of time! Yay! Temperature is going to play a very important role in the game. So there are various areas of the game where we're going to be in different climates. We caught a frog! Woohoo! Yay! Okay. It's kind of sad that this place has seen better days. I bet it would be beautiful otherwise. There's a strange sort of beauty to seeing it like this too. I think we should go further up. Well, that hurt. 
I said pretty much anything you find can be a weapon. That includes your enemy's weapons as well. You see the lowest numbers there? The first one is your attack strength. The second number is durability, if I remember correctly. And durability means that whatever weapon you have, or shield for that matter, when we come across one, they will break. You will not be able to keep them. The red dude we were facing off against is apparently called a Bokoblin. That's interesting. What are you? I got an ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. Huh. That might come in useful later. This statue smiles upon you. Nice. I have a feeling we're gonna have to come back here. Let's see if these pots have anything. of amber. Don't want to do that. Uh... You can use weapons to do it too. Which will be nice when I get my hands on a bow. That one didn't have anything. Ooh, treasure test time. Ah, speaking of bow. Traveler's bow. A small yo. Uh, sorry, I can't talk today. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. Okay, that's how the bow works. Since we picked up some arrows earlier, we actually have some... A 
ammo. Oh, look at that. He's got the quivers on the side there. That's interesting. So I can make room for his... Uh, So it can make room for more stuff on his back. No, I don't want to do that. I just wanted to see it. No, we just have regular arrows at the moment. But the game has different varieties of arrows. So that's not the only kind we're going to get. See, we got more arrows now. That's just a flower. Something else I'm looking for. I just wish I could remember what it is. Pretty sure it's around here somewhere. That's where I was. This will be a good time to show you guys how you get to earn your health back in this game. Oops, wrong button. And it's a very simple thing to do. All you have to do... Come on, Alchemy, push the right button. <gasps> All you have to do is eat food. Rather than get the typical heart containers you would normally find in Zelda games. This is what I was looking for. The Hyrulean Trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable. And they're highly durable, making them ideal for travelers. Oops. I'll go put these on. Because they're a bit more covering now. They'll probably keep us a little bit warmer. How do I get the bow? There we go. No, 
now. Aha! That's how you do it. Okay. I have to get myself familiar with the controls again. Sorry, everybody. What do you say we use our goblin friend here as some target practice, shall we? Boom! Used his own weapon against him. Nice. <laughs> Gotta find some more food. But for the meantime. This ought to be useful. <laughs> Vocabulary bullying! <laughs> that was fun. Guess the other one didn't drop a horn. I'll go ahead and grab this in case. This one that I have currently breaks. I think we need to go this way. I don't have any, a whole lot of food right now, so I have to be careful. Ha! <laughs> huh? Got some fish, nice. Come here, fishy. I don't want to push my luck into like so much there. <laughs> Which we will be able to eventually do. Come on, Link. You know you can get up here. Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? What in the world are you? <laughs> oh! That was... Very silly of me to do. Let's 
let's see where the game puts me, shall we? Okay. And I got my hearts back, nice. I'm gonna go around this way so the double common does not see us. You gonna come over here or you gonna go away? Oh goody, didn't see us. Let's see what this thing is for. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Okay. Tower activator. Please watch for falling rocks. <laughs> oh! I think we got bonked on the head. We know what that thing was now. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. This is our map. Yay! Regional map extracted. been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Gee, no pressure from the mysterious voice or anything, y'all. But I've got a question for you. Before I continue with further episodes of this series. 
you guys want to see the mini map and things like the noise sensor or temperature control or would you prefer not to see it which is this one where we don't see anything at all make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know for the next episode if you guys want to see the minimap or not but I think for the first episode this is a good place to leave it Link's getting a bit of a stretch out for the day before he, we continue the exploration. But we will continue the exploration of the Great Plateau in the next episode. And with that said... This has been Alchemy. And I'll catch y'all next time.